Hello, how's everybody doing today? This is Mickey. Well, today I would like to talk to you about something very personal, and that is how do you import your photographs into Lightroom? And I say it's personal because when you get together with friends and colleagues and you talk about this subject, it can actually get kind of contentious sometimes because people have definite opinions on how you bring photos or import photos into Lightroom. But in the last several weeks, I've had a few friends give me a call and say, Lightroom ate my photos. Lightroom is broken and it's got bug in it, but I can't find my photos and I know I put them in there. And when I meet with them and we work on it, we find out the same thing every single time is that Lightroom put the photographs exactly where the system designated them to go. The problem was where the person thought the photos should be and where Lightroom put them were two different locations. And of course, that causes the confusion. So when I have a problem like that or have a, a friend or a colleague call me and ask to help out, I always show them my method to import photographs because in working with the problem with them, I can see what they're doing. Now, this method that I use I've been using for over five years and I have yet to have photographs not go to the exact location I wanted them to go. And more importantly, when I teach this method to my friends and colleagues and they use it, I never hear from, my, from them again about having problems importing photos. So while I'm not saying this is gospel and there's other photographers that do use this method, I did not invent it but it has stood the test of time with me and my colleagues that use it too. So if you don't use this method, I just thought I would throw it out there and have you take a look at it. If you want to use it, you can. If you don't, just file it in the back of your head and, and maybe someday it'll pop up again and you'll want to give it a try. But in any case, I just want to go through the method real quick. It'll just take a couple minutes. So right now we're looking at the library module in Lightroom. I have made a new catalog for this session here, so we don't have a lot of gobbledygook uh, on the system. All right, getting started here, I want to make sure that we both, that we all understand the structure that I'm going to be using to import my photos into. I've created a new catalog, so it's very minimal folders and it won't be confusing if I don't have a big long line of folders so we can see exactly what's going on. My primary folder for photos, I've named photos. And underneath my primary folder, I put my subfolders, which contain the photographs of each shoot. I usually name the shoot by the location or the subject matter and the date of the shoot. So that's what we're going to be using in this import process. If you want to see it within Finder or Explorer, you can see here my, my primary folder of photos. And these are the subdirectories that get created by Lightroom when we import. And this is my catalog. Lightroom Test 001, as you can see right here at the top, and all the files we need for the catalog in Lightroom. To start out with, we're going to click on our primary folder because we want to put subfolders to the primary. And we're going to right click or control click, and we're going to choose Create Folder Inside Photos. Now we're going to get this little dialog box and it allows us to create the folder where our photos will be stored. We're going to call this uh, flowers and give it a date and hit create. When we do that, it automatically creates the folder in our catalog. Now all we have to do is import photos to it. To do that, we're going to right click or control click one more time and we're going to choose import to this folder. All right. Notice we didn't touch that import button. We want to define everything before we import. And by using the import menu option, it allows us to uh, launch the import button or the import screen with our destination already designated. So all we have to do now is choose some pictures to put in. Let's uncheck these because I don't want to bring them all in. We're going to choose these top five photographs right here. We're going to confirm our settings over here, like for file handling, file renaming, apply during import. We can put a keyword like flowers. And we'll double check our destination. But because we right clicked on that new folder and said import to this folder, Lightroom knows where they need to go and it already has it designated as the destination of this import. 
All we have to do now is click Import. And all those photos will be imported into that new folder. Now, if we go to that new folder and look, you can see all our photos are there. All right? They didn't go anywhere else. They went exactly where they want. Now, let's do that one more time. We're going to click on our primary folder. And we're going to click, right-click and choose Create Folders Inside Photo. We're going to call this Tulips. 04042024 and hit create. Again, you can see it's created our folder. Now to import, we do not want to hit this import button. That's where the problem starts. We want to right click or control click if you have a Mac and choose import to this folder. It launches the import screen. Your designation or destination is already designated put in any of your file handling or renaming uh, the data, choose your source, choose the pictures that you want to import, and click import. And as you can see, brings the pictures in. If we go to that folder that we just selected, flowers, or it was tulips, you can see our photos are exactly where we wanted them to go. So by right-clicking and creating your folder on the left-hand side here, and then right-clicking again and choosing import to this folder, it automatically tells Lightroom where the photos are and where they're going to go before we ever select the import screen. And that's where the problem happens, is that we pick our source, and when we go to pick our destination, we pick the wrong one, or we forget to pick it, and Lightroom just uses the default destination, and that's how we get lost, and that's how we get confused about where our pictures go. Well, I hope this helps everybody out. Like I said, this is not gospel. This is just something that's been tested and tried over time, and has worked for me and I'm, I'm not exaggerating, 100% of the time. And it makes me real happy when I see other people that use it that I talk to and teach this method to, they have the same success. If you guys have any questions about the import process, if you have a process that's similar to this and you think it's better, shoot me an email. I don't have the best thing all the time. And I always look for ways to improve my work and my workflow. And if you can help me, I'd really appreciate it. I'll talk to you all real soon.